Friends, what is the main challenge in intumescent in cataracts? Yes, it is doing capsular access. So after the incisions, inject an air bubble and now inject trypanbulodi to stain the anterior capsule of this white cataract. It will create contrast and you will be able to do capsular access very easily. Wash the dye out with BSS, balanced salt solution, and then inject viscoelastic substance. I inject 2% ASPMC in all intumescent cataracts. If you are comfortable, you can inject sodium hyaluronate. This is another sideboard on the right side of the main incision. I usually make two sideboards in intumescent cataracts and make the initial nick from the right sideboard. Make a C flap, little carved flap, see some oily fluid has come out. It indicates that there is high intralenticular pressure. Now I convert this small C flap into a small rexis. I call it a mini rexis. What to do now? Now, aspirate some lens matter through this small opening and decrease the intralenticular pressure. And the character of this cataract will change totally. It will be just any other cataract. Squeeze the lens matter from periphery, bring it at the center and aspirate it. So I am squeezing it from periphery over the anterior capsule, bring it near the center and remove it. Thus, decrease the intralenticular pressure in all quadrants. In this case, you can see the sub-incisional area is not totally decompressed, but still it can be managed because the intralenticular pressure has decreased drastically. Now make a nick somewhere. I find it comfortable at 8 o'clock because my incision is in the supratemporal aspect. And now I enlarge this mini rexis into an adequate sized rexis with the help of this utrita horseps. Yes. It is done. So, the main challenge of this cataract, of this intumescent cataract, is over. We have done a beautiful rexis, adequate sized rexis of about 5 millimeter or 5.25 millimeter. And now, the rest of the surgery is edited. I just do direct chow for this kind of cataracts, bury the teeth, go for a distance, hold the nuclear mass very firmly and divide it like this. Rotate it, chop it another place. This is the other hemineucleus, it is held and chopped. So the nucleus has been divided into four fragments. Each fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy. In this case the ultrasonic power is 60 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. The antechamber is very stable, there is no surge, the machine being used is Oatly Catarix 3. It's a beautiful machine but every machine is good if you know the machine. You can do safe surgery with all machines, even the machine which you consider poor man's machine. And now cortical cleanup is done very nicely. You can see there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule in the sub-incisional area. I'm in IA2 mode and trying to remove this but the sub-incisional cells need to be hydrated and dislodged. So this is only irrigation and 
I have this lost it. Now I go again with the aspiration port and see how beautifully you can remove it. I mean IA2 mode where the vacuum is only 40 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 20. Yes, the capsule has been nicely polished. And now inject viscoelastic substance. In this case, we have selected sensor multipiece intraocular lens. In such cases, enlarge the main incision a little bit, just on cut like this. So the main incision, which was 2.8 millimeter, has been about 3 millimeter now. Now see how to load the lens. Hold the lens with the Macpherson's forceps, go from behind and the optic should be in the groove. The overhanging edges should be in front of the periphery of the optic in both sides. And now fold the flaps and you must see that the trailing haptic should come out in such a way that it is not in the groove. It is on the left side and it is like this and then you advance the plunger and now engage the tip of the cartridge bevel down into the main incision the main incision has been enlarged to 3 millimeter and now engage and advance and now as push the plunger screw the plunger and as the optic comes out rotate the cartridge anti-clockwise so that the optic of the lens is like this now take a Macpherson's and put the trailing haptic in the capsular bag and now do a thorough cleaning of the viscoelastic substance you may see that white flaky materials stick to the optic of sensor multipiece and thickness multipiece intraocular lenses while it goes through the lumen of the cartridge you must wash it out you must polish the lens just by fluid jet and need not touch the lens but you can clean the lens very nicely now hydrate the side ports do the final lavage form the entry chamber and conclude the case after checking the wounds thank you very much for your attention hope this video will give you many tips in developing your surgical skills thank you very much